Good evening. We begin with breaking news. That major gas leak in the U District forcing evacuations and shutting down parts of I-5. King 5's Natalie Swaby joining us live at the scene there. What do we know about all that happened there, Natalie? Oh, we're still getting some details from Seattle Fire. They're still on scene trying to learn a little bit more. And I'm going to step out of the way so you can see the work that's happening behind me. This is Northeast 45th Street near Brooklyn Avenue Northeast. And what we have learned is that there was a 911 call that came in today. Seattle Fire says it started during construction work. And Seattle Fire says it appears an excavator struck a two inch gas line. Now, that, of course, prompted the response that we're seeing out here today. We know PSC is on scene working to secure the leak. They're accessing pipes that are not far from the leak area itself, looking in both directions to try and turn off valves. Now, once they're able to secure the leak, then they want to make sure all the natural gas has dissipated. And at that point, they're going to go and check all of the buildings in the evacuation zone to make sure that they monitor for natural gas levels before letting people back in. But this is a significant evacuation zone. Seattle Fire tells us 12 blocks have been evacuated earlier. We were able to catch up with one business just outside of that evacuation zone. Five in Brooklyn, it said major gas leak. And, you know, that's what, about a block and a half away. And to be able to smell it up here and then see a lot of the fire department come in and streets start getting closed off and cops all around and all that. So open the doors and turn the fans on to move it through the building, I guess, and we don't have to breathe it. When I was walking back from class, it was like roughly 1230-ish, and I heard the sirens first, and then it was like really loud and people were like wondering what was going on, I guess. And then when I actually went over, there was people talking about a gas leak, and then as you're going by, you could just see like a bunch of like ambulances and police cars. And so that's when I realized that something was actually up. Uh, that was a student that you hear from right there. One of the many people that had to evacuate. You, Seattle Fire says they were even evacuating high rises. Uh, the UW Tower had to be evacuated. Initially, they just were trying to get people away from this intersection here, just a block in each direction. But then they realized with the wind direction and the levels they were seeing when it came to natural glass that they needed to evacuate the 12 full blocks. Now looking live, you're looking at the scene again. This is Brooklyn, near Brooklyn and 45th. And as we pan over, this is such a weird sight because this is rush hour and normally this would be a jam packed street, but you can see this area completely blocked off and we still don't know when it's going to reopen. The other thing that we want to reference here, hearing from King County Metro, that people should expect significant delays when it comes to transit service in this U District area. Traffic around this area is not good at all. So that's something to keep in mind. Seattle Fire even saying to avoid the area if you can. Reporting live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.